Y'all know nothing about this, you need to pay attention. Sit back and relax, it's time for Goodall's Country Kitchen. here on Hurstburn Lane right off of Shelbyville Road at Gus's world famous fried chicken now I know for y'all regulars you know I don't usually do chain restaurants but every now and then I make an exception and I'm gonna make the exception today because I've heard a lot of people reaching out making comments saying I need to do a review here so and then I've gotten on social media I see mostly positive comments I see a lot of mixed reviews some people say it's the best they ever had some say it's okay this and that uh but i'm gonna go ahead and try it out and i'm gonna give my subjective opinion uh i'm not gonna scrap the video if it's not the greatest uh like i would on a mom and pop video if something's not good i just scrap the video i'm not gonna do that today i'm gonna keep it 100 real good bad or ugly i'm gonna show you and tell you how it is i'll be back in just a minute all right i'm coming up i'm just going to carry out and eat it on the back of my car but anyway what i like here is you get to see what they're doing there you know they're not hiding anything make everything pretty much right in front of you nice little dining room in here everything's wide open Got a little bar there you could sit at if you wanted uh but it's a full service restaurant I think you can, uh, you know, sit down, get a server, and get waited on, or you can just do carry out like I'm about ready to do. All right, we'll be All right, right back. One more little glance through here. You see, they got a lot of write-ups from Memphis. That's where they're based out of. Based out of, by the way, is Memphis, and now they're kind of all over the place. When I went to school down in Mississippi, we used to go to Memphis on the weekends because I can tell you there is nothing in Mississippi that uh, I can remember I would want to go back and eat. All right, so on my way in, I ran into a group of really nice ladies and I was asking them uh, what they recommended. And they said fried tomatoes, fried pickles. So I got, I got a fairly large amount of chicken, so I, I only wanted to get one appetizer. So I got the, the fried tomato fried green tomatoes and it looks like it looks like a ranch yeah that's ranch and it's a cornmeal base you know just like your your good basic state of Kentucky fried green tomatoes country style let me go ahead and give these a whirl uh, they don't seem floppy they seem like they're done pretty good let me try them without the ranch first Good breading, cooked inside, they're cooked all the way through. All right, so let me go ahead now. I'm gonna do it good all style now, which y'all know what that means. I'm gonna go ahead and hit them with this hot sauce. You already know what time it is, all right. Hot sauce, I'm gonna do a little ranch dip. <laughs> I got people watching me, out these businesses watching me do this review. That's one thing I love about this channel. I get to meet, uh, you know, followers, viewers. I ran into two different people on my way in here that watch my channel. And that, that to me, it is almost better than reviewing the food is getting to meet all the good people along the way. Anyway, back to the fried green tomatoes. Hit them with that hot sauce and ranch, really good. All right. I wanna get back to those. Now, I got 
a four piece fried chicken, which you see there. I like the looks of that chicken. It's supposed to be spicy. I've heard mixed reports on whether actually it is spicy. Now, if you order just the chicken digging dinner regular, it's gonna come with slaw and beans. If you wanna substitute other sides, I think it's like $1.50 extra per side. But I got enough chicken to wear a four piece to where I'm gonna get like uh, as if a person was eating for, you know, a couple, two people. So four sides total, four pieces of chicken. We'll start with the coleslaw. Good coleslaw, just like KFC. Good coleslaw, sweet, mayonnaise base. All right, the chicken uh, look, looks like it might be infused with some chili oil. I'm not sure. I haven't, I don't know anything about this place, so I can't honestly tell you. Hi there. Is it good? Well, I'm about ready to bite in and find out. Here we go. <laughs> mm-hmm. Okay. Good thin breading. It's not really spicy. They say it's spicy hot. Oh, I like it's, spicy. Spicy. it's spicy, but not hot. Okay. Thank you. If you want it hot, you go to Lee's Famous yeah, I like it. and get that hot. But yeah, it's hard to beat Lee's Famous. But anyway, this is good. Like I said, not hot. It is juicy. And I can tell by the uh, chicken up close to the bone. It's not frozen. This was fresh chicken, I'm pretty sure. All right, now on to the beans. You know, beans are good. I've had a lot better, I've had worse. Now, I want to move on to this mac and cheese. Uh, the young man that was taking my order, I said, what is your signature item? He said, the mac and cheese. I said, what makes it so special? He said, it's just cheesy, made with love, something like that. So anytime they say it's made with love, you know it better be good. Look at that, it is good and cheesy. Look at that. It's creamy, but cheesy at the same time. It looks like they might put it under like a, a baking lamp or something to finish it off with. All right. That is good. If you don't like your, cre your mac and cheese with a lot of cheese in it, you don't want this. Cause this is filled with mac and cheese or uh, with cheese. Kind of tastes like it's got a Velveeta and a cheddar in there. I'm not sure, but very good and cheesy. All right, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna work on some of this for a minute. I still got another item to get to, and then I'll come back and show you what we got left. All right, so I ate that thigh, the dark meat, but now I'm gonna move on to this uh, white meat, the whole wing. And before I even start on that, I'm gonna go ahead and put some of this uh, Louisiana hot sauce on there. You know how I do it. That's a good wing there. Juicy. Speaking of juicy, I usually never get, uh, what do you call it, a look at breast because I always think it's too dry, but I gotta go ahead and try it just to keep it real. Pretty juicy, well cooked. Breading's good and crunchy. I really like the breading here. 
and it's not real thick, not a lot of breading. That where you taste mostly chicken and not a lot of breading. All right. Now, I got the greens. Any good chicken place better have good greens. And I didn't, I didn't even ask what kind of greens they got. Uh, I don't think that these were like pulled fresh off the stem or anything like that. I do see uh, some seasoning in there. I don't know if that's pork or if they use, that's either pork or smoked turkey. I don't know, let's we'll see. Seasons pretty well. I'd be willing to bet that that's smoked turkey. I'm not, I'm not tasting a lot of swine in this, but they're solid and these taste like uh, collard greens. If I had to bet my money, I would say collard. All right, they passed the test. If you really want to know how to cook greens, though, go to one of my early videos where I do a cooking demonstration on how to properly clean, prepare, and cook collard greens. That was in some of my earliest videos. All right, so I'm gonna work on some of this. Give you my final thoughts in just a minute. All right, I had so much chicken, I didn't even see the bread underneath. I was wondering why it didn't come with a dinner roll or cornbread. It comes with some of that bread underneath to kind of soak up that infused oil that they brush on the chicken. I love that oil that gets on the bread. All right, be right back. All right, so I'm, like I said, I'm changing my format today because it's not your usual mom and pop review. I usually don't rate things against the other point ratings, none of that. But being that this is a franchise chain, I'm gonna go ahead and break it down like this. I'm gonna categorize each thing. Uh, as far as the fried green tomatoes, those are really good. I do recommend get those if you come here. I'm gonna give them an 8.2. Uh, the fried chicken itself, well, no, let's go sides first. Baked beans, I'm gonna give them, let's say, a 6.5. They're, you know, they're okay. I had a lot better, but I had a lot worse. The coleslaw, you know, good KFC coleslaw, I'll give that a 7.5. Uh, the greens, collard greens, uh, you know, they do the job. I'll give them a seven. The mac and cheese, which I said, if you're a real cheesy, cheesy mac and cheese lover, you're gonna like this. And I do like a lot of good cheesy goodness in my mac and cheese. I'm gonna give that an 8.5. Now, the chicken. Uh, as I said, the breast is usually dry to me. It was uh, good and juicy, acceptable, good wing. Dark meat chicken was really good. I'm gonna go ahead and give the chicken an 8.4, okay? It was good, it's worth uh, the trip coming here for the chicken. Now, I've heard a lot of mixed reviews on the value here. Uh, it was 25.71. I made sure that I ordered a meal that was big enough that two people could eat and leave out of here full. Four pieces of chicken, four sides. That'd be enough for any two normal humans to be able to come and eat lunch and the fried green tomatoes to split. And I have one drink. You could get water. If you got water, you probably would have, probably my bill would have been 22. But for 25.71, I think that's a pretty decent value for two people to come and eat lunch here. So I'd say after overall value, food quality, everything, I'm gonna give this place a solid eight, eight out of 10 which I think that's pretty high rating for uh, franchise food. And uh, it's better than fast food, 
you know, sit down. You can actually come here with a date if you wanted to, have a good time. But anyway, with that, y'all don't know nothing about this Gus's World Famous Fried Chicken. Now you know the facts of why I'm on a mission. You're always welcome back to Goodall's Country Kitchen.